Jennifer, today you and I are going to do some sort of tricks based on a thing called center of gravity. Okay. You ever heard of that? No. no you heard I of gravity? Haven't. Right. Okay, I've but not of center of gravity. Well, it's no. kind of a nice thing to know about because once you know about it, you can do some very interesting tricks. Here's the first okay. one. See this little piece of wood? Looks like a quotation mark. Right. <laughs> I want you to bring your finger up here. Okay. And I'm going to balance it. Or at least let go. Do you think it'll balance up there? No, it'll fall. All right, it'll fall. Now, the reason why it's made in this strange shape is because you want to add a belt, which is a weight, right? Right. All right, I will. Now, you see, the belt will fit into this little slot. It does. Okay, give me your finger again. This time, in spite of the fact that we've added weight. It stayed up. I thought it would fall. Right. Now, that's because of that secret center of gravity. Okay, here's another one. That's neat. I assume you have a piece of potato at home? I do. You have one of these? Right. Toothpick? Stick it through the potato like that. Take this pencil and hold it up like that. Okay. Now, by adding, if I put that on, it would fall, right? Right. Okay, I'm going to add weight in the form of two forks. Okay. One like okay. that and one like that. If you now put it up here, stays up. Not only stays up, but it's really in balance. Look, it it'll really spin. Is. Again, because of that thing called center of gravity. So maybe we ought to find out about that. Are you ready? Yeah. First of all, you know, gravity pulls down on everything. Right, it right? does. Pulls down on this coat hanger. Right? right. Pulls down on the coat hanger if I hang it like that. Right. Or if I hang it like that. Right. Always gravity pulling down. This time, we'll sort of get an estimation of where gravity is pulling down. Have you ever heard of a plumb bob? No. Okay, a plumb bob is a thing that carpenters use when they want to find a vertical line, a line that points directly at the center of the earth. They hang it from a, in this case I have a nail, and you see that line pointing down there? That's right mm -hmm. to the center of the earth. So you take this pen. Okay. And wait till it stops swinging. And then you make a mark right next to that line. Okay, go ahead. There. Good. Now let's change the position of the coat hanger. Okay. We're still now getting the line that points directly to the center of the earth that gravity is pulling down on. Notice they cross? Right. Okay. Draw that one in. Okay. There. It's okay, now different. we have one more arm of the coat hanger. All right. Put it like that. Okay. Here again, we're finding the point where gravity seems to be pulling down on the whole thing. Okay. And notice they all cross at the same point. They do. Okay, put a line there. It's quite neat. Okay, put now, notice we got us of which way we hang the coat hanger. That point is always directly below the point of support. Right. Now we can get rid of that, uh, the, the cardboard part, because when you ordinarily hang up a coat hanger, you don't have cardboard on it, do you? No, you don't. Okay. Where's that point now? Probably about there. Yes. So the center of gravity is an imaginary point in which gravity seems to be acting on whatever it is you're hanging. Okay. Right there it is again, right? Right. Coat hanger is particularly good because the center of gravity is an imaginary point in the middle of the air. It isn't even in the coat hanger. Right. Okay, now let's look at these other things. If you tried to balance this, where would the center of gravity be, do you suppose? Someplace about in here? Yeah. yeah. So therefore, when you put your finger up here, the center of gravity is way it's over here, there. so it's going to fall. Right. Okay, now, when we add the weight, we now have changed the center of gravity because this mm -hmm. is now a whole new system. It is. Piece of wood and belt. Now put your finger okay. up there. Okay. You can okay. pull it, see if you can pull it out even a little further. There. Now, where is the center of gravity? Here somewhere? Right. It's got to be directly below the point of support. An imaginary there. point right there. So that's why the little belt hook stays up. Now, right. center of gravity of the potato? <laughs> Probably right in the center, right? Okay, right. add a toothpick. Hold that for a minute. Okay. Now, if we add a fork. We're adding weight, Four, right? Two. But here's the pencil. Okay, here's the pencil. Okay. 
Where must the center of gravity be? In the pencil. Yeah. <laughs> really, it is, because it, it's, the center of gravity must be right below the point of support. Right there. Yeah, right there someplace. So notice, by the way, that if you do this at home and you put the, the uh, toothpick out too far, then you have a much more difficult time balancing it. You see that? Yeah. So push the toothpick up so not too much of it sticks out or, jug okay. or, or arrange the two forks, and then you can get it to balance perfectly. And what's the secret behind all of this? What's center it called? Of the center of gravity. The center of gravity.